Together, we will become an alliance to be reckoned with. She was arguably our favorite tribute. And I think for you, Peter, it must be particularly painful. Don't be a fool, Katniss. I know. You never wanted the rebellion. Please. Please urge them to stop this war before it's too late. How can he sit there in the Capitol and defend the people who destroyed his home and murdered his family? Nobody's seen what the Capitol did to 12. Uh. I have to show them. Katniss, tell us what happened here. The peacekeepers forced us back into our homes. For, for maybe an hour, the town was just dead quiet. We're trying to get over the fence line, but a lot of people were scared of the forest. Mm. So they headed up onto the road. 915 of us made it to the fence. Bombers circled back towards the road. They firebombed them as they ran away. 915 out of 10,000. I should have grabbed people. I should have dragged them with me. Without you, there would be no District 12, not even the memory of it. This is where you kiss me. Oh. I didn't think you remembered that. Me either. I have to be dead to forget that. We can make arrangements. Yeah, not It's not the same. He's gay. <laughs> I know you do that. Girl, you bring out emotions. I'm angry, sad, I want to punch you, I want to make out with you, I want to sleep with you. Yeah, that's a mocking Jay. <laughs> they should get a lot of those birds and like really No, they'll never shut up. You want me to sing? Are you? Are you? Coming to the tree. Strange things did happen here, and stranger would it be. Are you? Are you? Coming to the tree. Burn necklace of hope. That line was originally a necklace of rope. I had to change the necklace of hope. Wow. You are a true wordsman. Are you? Coming to the tree. reports and of a savage attack on the hydroelectric dam in District 5. He sees it. He sees our problem. Kenneth, are you there? Peter. Kenneth. Peter, please continue. How will this end? What will be left? No one is safe now. Not here in the capital. They're coming, Kenneth. They're going to kill everyone. And in District 13, you'll be dead by morning. Please. Three capital squadrons just entered our airspace. Prepare to scramble the fleet. Mom! Where's Ben? I thought she went to find him. Hey, stop! Surface-to-air launchers just took a direct hit in Sector 3. Stand down, don't launch the fleet. What they hit? Bedrock. But there's debris in the ventilation shaft. We'll seal us in here like a tomb. Take a deep breath, Mr. Evansby. It's gonna be a long night. Come talk about something. Anything. They had promoted me at the hospital. Uh -huh. I forgot to tell you. So young. I'm just stupid not to. Oh, uh, the light, I forgot. Why cat did that? I thought the whole romance was an act. 
We all expected you'd continue that strategy. I drag myself out of nightmares and there's no relief in waking up. Oh. Dennis. Come with me. He's always like whispering in the night. I need you to do something for us. I need you to tell Panem that we survived an attack by the Capitol with no casualties. We had eight extra minutes of civilian evacuation because of PETA's warning. I won't forget that. So Katniss, it's 13 is alive and well, and so am I. Never one to waste it in rehearsal. Why would they drop these? Huh. Tell me about the roses. He's gonna kill Peter. Let's try again. Can you speak up? We don't have a mic on you. He's doing this because I'm the market chain. He's punishing Peter to punish me. She, the character is, I don't know how to describe it. I understand, but at the same time she gets me angry. You know, you're the only real friend I have down here. But the reason I'm here, to let you know, they're rescuing PETA. Plutarch got word that PETA and the others are in the Tribute Center. She knows that PETA is the capital's weapon, the same way you're ours. When are the 65th Hunger Games? Why is Finnick doing a Bravo? It's a lot more than that. What they don't know is this broadcast is jamming their entire system with noise. You can survive the arena. The moment you leave, you're a slave. Stay low in case they're online. The president gives them as a reward or allows people to buy them. Talking J1, you are 20 seconds from perimeter defense. Seven, six, five. No response from perimeter defense. We're inside Capitol airspace. See, I know all the depravity, the deceit, and the cruelty. But the biggest secrets are about our good president, Coriolanus Snow. Prepare to deploy gas. We will confirm what's inside. Such a young man when he rose to power, such a clever one to keep it. He stopped every mutiny before it even started. Command, we're inside. Heading toward target number one. There are so many mysterious deaths and adversaries. Snow would drink from the same cup to deflect suspicion. Help cover the scent of blood from sores in his mouth that will never heal. His weapon of choice is the only thing suited to such a man. Poison. The perfect weapon for a snake. <laughs> Ma'am, the Capital Air Defense System is rebooting. It's coming back online. If Snow's watching this, maybe he'll let the signal in if he sees me. Yes, yes. Put her on. President Snow, it's Katniss. Can you hear me? President Snow, it's... What are you I never asked for this. I just wanted to save my sister and keep PETA alive. You couldn't run from this any more than you could have run from the games. Release PETA and take me instead. You said you didn't want a war. And that's just what's happened. Huh? Command, we're at the first target. Prepare to extract Peter. It's ever did. It's the things we love most. He's out there. That destroy us. Don't you think I know your friends are in the Tribute Center? He knows that they're in there. Uh, it's it's a trap. Let's hold it. Oh, oh, that's that's that both the night. That yeah. was the both the night. There's no news. It's the worst torture in the world. Waiting when you know there's nothing you can do. You have it, soldier. It's what's kept you alive all this time. They're back. They're back. Joanna. Finn! I don't know. Hey. Hey. Joanna. Was she that other girl with black hair? Gail! Every gun was back online and on us, and we flew right past them. They let us go. He should be there when he wakes up. Now, why did they let him go? Peter. Scared shot me. <laughs> don't try to talk. Peter's okay, I promise. We don't know how long the Capitol's been doing this to Peter. Stripped out his identity, and then all of that suffering and fear is redirected. They turned him into a weapon, Katniss. To kill you. I 
I am pleased to announce that the victors have been liberated. We have sent a clear message to the capital that we will never again endure injustice where leaders are elected, not imposed upon us, and not fight one another for scraps. Today, we have freed the victors. Tomorrow, So, Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 has concluded, and I have to say, this was amazing. So I understand now why there's going to be a Part 2. Part 1 was going to get the victors, we did that, we also established where Katniss is and who this new um, president is, President Coyne, seems like she's going against President Snow. And so Snow, we also got some information about him, about the sores in his mouth, if this is a true story. How does that guy know? I guess that guy was saying like people pretty much paid to sleep with him, is that what they were saying? Um, and was, if that's true, if that's what I understood to be correct, then was President Snow one of them, that's why he knows so much about President Snow, or did he just somehow find these fun facts about President Snow and decided to broadcast that? Also, as you see, they let them go because what they did to Pita and his little speech about the one that you love will be the one that destroys you, if that was the speech, or I just remixed it and made my own. Congratulations to Andres, you are amazing. That bitch, I am. Um, but yes, so that speech obviously had to deal with Pita thinking that Katniss was, is a enemy of him and is life threatening, so he has to kill her, so it seems, and he damn near almost did. Within like a matter of seconds, she would, if he even like went like this, just moved it instead of choking her out, she had been dead and we wouldn't have a part two. Um, regardless, this was, I would, I would give it about a 9.5 out of 10. It was very entertaining. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do 9, 9.5. As you see, I'm yawning. This movie was very long. I'm exhausted now. Um, and I wasn't even going to hide that yawn, guys. Hair flip. I'm giving you the real, raw reactions. After this movie, you will be tired emotionally, physically, mentally exhausted. Um, but like I said, once again, this is a very, very, very good um, movie. And I really can't wait until I can get into part two. I'm kind of on a fence right now. I feel like I want to actually see that movie next instead of jumping to Harry Potter because I would like to remember this. And I feel like at the beginning of my intro, I said I was going to jump into Harry Potter. I think what I'm going to do is drop and see part two uh, right after this. Like after this is edited, put out. I'm going to give myself like a, maybe a week uh, and then I'm going to jump into part two just because it'll be fresh on my mind. It took me too long uh, in between time and meantime. So I want to definitely get this uh, movie done, wrapped up, and then I can finish up the Harry Potter one. It just makes sense. I don't know why I thought I could go back and forth. It does not make sense. I also don't know why I decided to watch two movies that have eight different parts to it instead of just watching one movie. Regardless, this was a very, very, very good movie, and I really cannot wait until the finale. So, guys, now I'm going to do that outro that you love so much. With that being said, guys, if you've seen this reaction, realize you are not subscribed. Hit the subscribe button, also please like and share this content because it does wonders for this channel. And I'll see you all next time on Andres El Rey.